Hi, my name is Greg Eilers, and this is the perfect unit one using an LMS or learning management system with the ADDIE model in mind. Okay, so for the first stage of the ADDIE process is the analyze stage. And out of all the stages in the ADDIE model, I think the analyze phase is probably the most important and the most significant to spend the most amount of time planning because that's where you're really going to get across what you want to get across to your audience. So this is what I specifically look at. What do I want my audience to learn? How am I going to assess what they've learned? Whether it be pre-test, uh, during course assessment, or post-test. And then finally, how will the audience connect to the learning to the real world? And so through this analysis stage, I'm going to really try to figure out what I want my learning to look like and kind of plan from there on out as to what I'm going to want to see throughout the whole stage. Okay, the next step in the ADDIE model is the design stage. And the design stage is where I'm really going to start to look at what's going to hook my learner. So for example, the anticipatory set. How am I going to get them interested in what I'm wanting them to learn, whether it be through video, a keynote presentation, or audio? I'm going to look closely at the objectives that I want my students to learn. I'll use the ABCD format, which is the audience, the behavior, the condition, and the degree that I want my learning to look like for these students to learn what I want them to learn. And I'll also create learning opportunities for multiple intelligences. And then finally, in the design stage within my LMS, I will create rubrics. And I've got a great website resource that I use, rubistar.com, to where I can really format the rubric the way I want it to look. And therefore, students will understand the expectations that I want them to learn. And it gives us and myself a good grading format to go off of in the design stage. Okay, so that brings me to the developing stage. And this is the part where I'm really getting ready to launch my project. So I'm gonna make sure that my permissions are all set. I've got parent permission, administration permission for anything I'm gonna use, uh, whether it be online, for the internet, web 2.0 tools, using the computer lab, allowing students to be on the video camera, digital cameras, uh, using movie editing software, kind of just getting all the resources and materials needed ready to go to launch my project. And then finally, what last minute collaboration might I need? Am I gonna have guest speakers? Do I need more colleague input, more experience uh, to help my project along? Really getting it ready to tweak and get going for the implement stage. Okay, so now I'm ready to implement. I'm ready to let launch this project with my classroom. So now I'm ready to give any whole group instruction, any small group instruction, any last minute tutorials I might need uh, for my class to really understand what I want them to learn within my project and for this learning management system to operate correctly. Okay, so finally we're at our evaluate stage to see how we finally did amongst the whole lesson. Was it a success? Was it a failure? What did my assessment results tell me when I analyzed the data? What did my students tell me when I got feedback from them? And then finally, what tweaks and improvements or adjustments can I make to make the le next lesson or unit better? And that's the beauty of a learning management system, is it makes it really easy to make those tweaks and adjustments to make your next lesson that much better.